Well, that's what happens. So you just yep. I pull them back. Yeah. Yep. So up 45 degrees. Yeah. Whoops. Yep. <laughs> Whoops. That's not what you want to hear. That's what I would have been kicked to the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He wouldn't have been happy. Okay. I feel how it feels meaty there. Yeah. Personally, yeah. I'm not sure how you broach that. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Colin. Hey, how are you? Good. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There we go. It's funny because it's, it's, yeah. it's tricky to broach through there. Yeah. 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 And you can actually feel it go right through. <laughs> yep. And then you stop about here. Yeah. Just as it enters, you can feel it where it comes up. Yep. Right, yeah, there's right there. Yep. And then you do the old. Yep. Yeah, and we count to 10 as, as we uh, put any you don't have to shoot up, you just go to 10 because it's really interesting. If you do take semen and you shake it up a little bit, especially you'll find a lot with uh, pig semen, but you, you can shake it up and you can bend tail, and you put it underneath, you can break tails, bend tails, on, uh, yeah, and you'll get semen uh, or sperm cells that just run around in a circle. They can't go straight or anything if they got a broken tail. So the same thing, you just kind of go slow and, uh, yeah, yeah. And then a bull, when he breeds, he puts a lot more volume. He work on volume. He dumps uh, his, the, the semen here, and then it, it would flow up oh, I see. Uh, like that. So that's why we only need a little bit. Right, we're putting it in the right spot. Right spot. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I teach a uh, dairy management class here, so we they have a ball doing this, and, and then we actually I get some open cows, and they go stick their arms in and, and try to find the cervix. Explain what an open cow is. Oh, open cow is a cow that's not pregnant. Cow that uh, has had a has had a calf isn't rebred back yet. Uh, we leave them open for 60 days. That um, how that works is um, how when we mount a cow, it's called a lactation. Okay, the a lactation's 305 days or 10 months. So we mount them with the uh, so they calve. We wait 60 days. We rebreed them. Hopefully, they catch on their first service. So then they get the calf, and we can check them in calf uh, about 25 days with an ultrasound or 30 days with an arm, just by the vet feeling it. And um, so then we milk them to 305, then we dry them off. Dry them off means we stop milking them. Um, we, don't give, we don't give them a ration that makes them milk. Lots of dry, but yeah. She just calved the other day. It hasn't been wiped out, but she was dry, yeah. And, um, yeah, so she goes through a two-month dry period where she just goes out to the other barn and relaxes and doesn't have to be milked or anything. And then three weeks before she calves, she comes in and we start giving her a special ration to, uh, to get her whole system going, extra vitamins, minerals, yeah. and uh, get her ready to uh, have a calf again. So, so here's the inside of the, the cervix. And here, see all the, the different folds yeah, the that you were Yeah. Yeah. So you can very easily get up in there. And yeah, no you, kidding. Yeah, so you gotta manipulate it, and this is where we, we would we would put the, the, the semen. Yeah, let's see. The cervix is right. Yeah, this is the cervix right here. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Like grizzly. Yeah. Oh, that's why it was so tough. Yep. You can actually feel it. Yep. Yeah, grizzly. Yeah. 